Welcome to Hopkinton Coffee Break, your home for current community talk, with Patricia Duart, Darlene Hayes, and Connie Wright. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Hopkinton Coffee Break. Here with my friends and Stephen Benford, father of Abby Benford and founder of, co-founder probably, of Keep Smiling for Abby. We're so delighted to have you here in light of your event coming up. Good morning. I'm glad to be here. Thank you. Absolutely. Also father of David Benford. Oh. Yes. 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 And husband of Amy. <laughs> so the Benfords, how long have you been in town? Uh, since 2003, so was that 14 wow. years? Wow, yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah. We moved here from Halston. Oh, very okay. good. You're actually yeah. like in my favorite, one, one of two of my favorite neighborhoods in town. Yeah. That Charles View neighborhood is great for kids growing up. Yeah. Oh. Throw a bike on a front yard, go play in someone's yard, pick up your bike, go to someone else's house yeah. kind of <laughs> neighborhood. Like the old days. Fun Absolutely. fact, the Benford family, we were living in Halston, and um, we were ready to move. We were a split level, sort of growing out of ourselves, yep. and we, we needed more, <laughs> we wanted more space. So we started looking for a place to live, and we, we couldn't find anything in Holliston. We sold our house in Holliston, had no place to go. And we told our kids that we wouldn't leave their schools. They'd be able to stay in their schools. Ah. So one Saturday, we go out and house hunting, and my wife Amy had found this place that we're in now in Hopkinton. And we, as we crossed over, um, was that Holliston and Apprentice Street? Yeah. 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 Uh, my son in the back seat was probably uh, six or seven years old, said, we're not in Hopkin Holliston anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and and you said, oh, it's okay, it's okay. And there we are, we're still here. Right. Yeah. They made friends right away, no doubt. They did. Yeah. yeah. Actually, when we moved here from Minneapolis, we were looking at Holliston. And the mar housing market was so competitive, we didn't get a house there. And we ended up in, in Hopkinton and, you know, obviously thrilled about it. Yeah. You know, yeah. it was just, just it's wonderful. It's a great community. It's Became been a great place. Became almost 20 years at 97. Okay. Yeah. So when the boom into yeah. H-Town. Yeah. It's yeah. kind of funny. It's like, you know, Ashland, Hoppy, and Holliston have always kind of, people move Cir kind of circulate through the, th yeah. the three towns a lot and at one point one school system is way better than the other than the next one you yeah. know for a long time Holliston was like up That's here right. now Hopkinton's up here yeah. you know it, well Holliston had that French, French immersion awesome. that's what we were That's really right. attracted to I'm not, is that still my going my son on? was in the uh, Montessori program oh, so oh see that's, that's and Carolyn Dykema's kids were doing right, that too right. it's like, my it's friend all the communities are great yeah. my um, friend Karen Protus is uh, one of the teachers for that program we know Karen I think yeah. my son went to school with Karen or my, Amy taught with Karen <laughs> Yeah. Amy, Amy taught with Karen. Small and I guess world. So David. now we're best friends. All yeah. <laughs> Small so, community. So many connections. So you, you guys moved to Hopkinton, and you've been here now 14 years. That's right. But, uh, but you're here for a very special purpose. We are. Yes. I am, yes. yes. I am. So. Tell us about that. So uh, my daughter, Abby, was a 15-year-old uh, um, high school sophomore in Ho uh, Hopkinton. Uh, she progressed all the way through the school systems, um, all the schools in town, and uh, had a lifelong history of food allergies, anaphylaxis risk. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. In particular, anaphylaxis is a life-threatening allergic reaction mm -hmm. um, triggered by food, insects, things, medicine, or latex. Yeah. Uh, uh, she had a lifelong, this lifelong risk, and we managed it within the schools and in our community. Uh, as a sophomore, uh, she was progressing uh, through the high school. Uh, she played field hockey and basketball, uh, youth sports, all that stuff in Hopkinton, mm -hmm. uh, and suffered an, uh, an allergic reaction to, to, to food in our home uh, shortly before her 16th birthday in December mm -hmm. of 2013. Mm -hmm. uh, she, uh, it was an anaphylactic reaction. Uh, we didn't recognize the symptoms fast enough. Uh, it began to, the symptoms began sort of like asthma. Uh, we began treating the asthma, and it quickly progressed to a very serious situation. Um, she, the, the, the firemen here in town uh, we're at our house in six minutes, so her reaction mm. was very fast, and they responded very quickly. Uh, but um, her, her reaction advanced to the point where um, she ended up suffering a cardiac arrest. Uh, they brought her back in Framingham. They transported her to Framingham uh, and then moved to Children's Hospital, where she was on life support for four days. Um, we made the very difficult decision to take her off life support. Uh, she passed away on December 18th, uh, 2013. Um, oh, we had a sorry. thank you. God bless thank you. you. Mm -hmm. We had a, a tremendous outpouring of support from the community in the hospital and children's. Mm -hmm. uh, it seemed like hundreds of people came to see us. It was probably less than that. Friends and family came and sort of overwhelmed the ICU. They don't typically let visitors, outside visitors, but they, they let us uh, open the doors up and visit Abby and our family. Uh, and, and in that moment, you, you could feel us. We have to do something mm -hmm. happening in, in, mm -hmm. the, in, the, in that moment even. About a month after Abby passed away in January, uh, we decided to, to do something by forming a charitable foundation. So we formed Keep Smiling for Abby. Uh, some people ask me where we get Keep Smiling and Keep Smiling. And, and if you look at Abby's 
uh, sort of social media pages, you'll, you'll see this sort of, she saw herself as always smiling. She mm -hmm. sort of tagged her, I guess her Twitter or something said always smiling. Mm -hmm. uh, she had a big smile, big personality, uh, terrific uh, young woman, and, and it was just, just a complete shock to our family. Sure. Um, so we started the foundation with the, with the mission to stop anaphylaxis, to mm -hmm. help the people at risk in this country. There's uh, more than 15 million people at risk of anaphylaxis yeah, in this wow, country. Yeah, wow. Uh, yeah, wow. it, it's, a, it's a problem that's compounding on itself, it seems. Mm -hmm. uh, between 1997 and 2003, that's the problem doubled. Uh, uh, and there's no really known reason why. Mm -hmm. um, food allergies are more prevalent. Medicine reactions are sort of more complicated, and you're seeing that reaction in cancer patients and, mm -hmm. and antibiotics. And you were sharing some amazing statistics around just population, the comparison, numbers of people. And I, I, you know, last year we had Lisa Nickerson on the show, right. who really enlightened us also. And Darlene certainly suffers from some of this. But you were sharing that, um, you know, there are allergies. Like my kids have seasonal allergies, you know, and, and just something over the counter, you know, obviously, you know. You're t obviously, then there's these life-threatening yeah. allergies. And the, the numbers of people and relative to other diseases that we know about, not diseases, or other issues sure. that we know about more prevalently. Yeah, so, so the big number that, I, I, that sticks in my brain is sort of the Alzheimer's comparison. Yes. Uh, there are five million or so Americans with Alzheimer's in this country and 15 million at risk of anaphylaxis. Wow. So, million. so the, 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 yeah. the, the scale of the problem is sort of exemplified by that number, yes. I, yes. I think. And you know, the outcome is tragic and, and a vital you know, a vital human being sort of deteriorates over time with Alzheimer's, a terrible outcome. Right, right. Um, in anaphylaxis, you have the same outcome if you're exposed to the trigger. So, so there's no known reason how to prevent a reaction. Much like you don't know how to prevent Alzheimer's, mm -hmm. it, it just sort of happens if you're at risk. And it, it doesn't just sort of happen. You have a, an exposure to a trigger, mm -hmm. uh, and, and anaphylaxis once through the body will react negatively. Mm. I know when um, we met once, we were talking about how where the revenue for Keep Smiling is going is to actually create a device that will respond to triggers. That's right. And um, it, it's through Harvard, isn't it? It is, darling. It's a great. I thank mm -hmm. you for that transition. It's, uh, our, our, when we started our foundation, we wanted to do something, do something to help people. Uh, there's a lot of great awareness programs out there, but we feel like that, that's a market that served awareness. Mm -hmm. It's one mm -hmm. of our goals, but our primary mission, our primary goal is to fund research. We fund research at the Wyss Institute, W-Y-S-S, -S, mm -hmm. at Harvard mm -hmm. University. It's right in the medical district, right next to mm -hmm. Children's Hospital. Yep. Uh, we, we identified the Wyss through one of the doctors that treated Abby at Children's Hospital. Mm -hmm. he, he, uh, he does his clinical work at Children's and his research work at the Wyss. Mm -hmm. And the Wyss is a very interesting uh, research lab. They, they have a track record of translational research. So it's not a bunch of um, academics tinkering and writing papers. They mm -hmm. take they take their work, they productize it, commercialize mm -hmm. it, and spin out a company or license it to a, to a subject matter expert. Mm -hmm. And that really resonated with us as sort of a, a, a call to action. So yeah. You can get something, an idea a through, too. you can get something through a funnel. And, and so the mm -hmm. Visa is funding, uh, significant funding towards something, uh, a project they're called Project Abbey, okay. uh, a project oh, to uh, detect the symptoms of anaphylaxis. Mm -hmm. And, and mm -hmm. the way they're approaching this is in four work streams. Uh, the first one is a biochemical. Mm -hmm. uh, sensor where it would sort of s somehow extract uh, body fluid, Almost like blood, what, like if you're a diabetic. very similar to the diabetic mm -hmm. model where you would sort of monitor biochemically uh, different factors in the, bo in the body's chemistry such as histamine. Hist yeah. um, mm. The word I was about to use. About the, um, mm. Right. Will it also then, so if the device is on you, will it then be able to administer you know, it could, it could, darling. Yeah. So the, the form factor isn't decided. So this mm -hmm. is their research. They're, mm -hmm. they're looking at biochemical, biophysical, mm -hmm. sort of uh, assessing skin temperature and tone, mm -hmm. wow. respiratory performance, blood pressure. Right. Uh, that that's a biophysical, uh, oh, biophysical the byproducts of right. reaction. Right. Yeah. Um, and then the, the third tr track is a sort of an auto injector. How do you make it this wearable? Uh, an EpiPen is this thing that's about this big, the size of an oversized pen. Yeah, I have one pen. right there. <laughs> uh, and, and it's very rigid. It's, it's, it's sort of it w if you would wear it, it would stick out, yeah. you know, 18 yeah. inches or so. Mm -hmm. And you really, it's not really a functional wearable. Right. So looking at the injector technology, mm -hmm. how do you convert that to a wearable? Mm -hmm. And the fourth work stream is putting it all together, and how do you make it auto-inject? Can you make it auto-inject? Mm -hmm. Would people trust it to auto-inject? Those are the types of research topics that they're exploring, and they've made tremendous progress in about a year and a half. Well, wow. the wonderful thing about that group is how they leverage and collaborate right. with other technologies and other um, groups. And, and I've always been impressed with 
you know, the whole research and the doctors um, in that, that, you know, quadrant there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, <laughs> it is, you're absolutely right. You've hit on something there. The thing, the other, the, the, the sort of another deciding factor for us was the unique nature of their team. They have, they have doctors like the doctor at Trinidad, mm -hmm. his name is uh, Dr. Ben Matthews. Mm -hmm. He's a, an ER attending physician. He's a professor at Harvard. Mm -hmm. So he's a, he's a doctor. Uh, they also have software engineers, mm -hmm. hardware engineers. Mm -hmm. They've got um, um, every every discipline, biochemi biochemistry engineers, mm -hmm. every possible discipline, including a business development side mm -hmm. that looks at this and says, what well, can we commercialize this? Do yeah. we license it or spin mm -hmm. out a company? Mm -hmm. And the important thing for, for me to convey, and another important, an important point for me to convey is, we're not in this to, to as, a, as a commercial outcome. This is right. a right. philanthropic play. Yes, we're a, yes, we're yes. a 501c3. Mm -hmm. we're, we've identified You're a problem. You're looking for we're funding, a solution. We're right. funding research in right. the lab. Right. Exactly. And, and the, the visa is a vehicle to convert that into right. uh, something that can help no, people. Absolutely. absolutely. And on absolutely. top of that, you also fund something that's very philanthropic right in the community. That's right. And giving back scholarships to two children a year in this community right. in honor of Abby. And I think yes. keeping it all, you know, the connection and, um, you know, there was an urgency of getting you on the show now so that it would air before an event you have coming up in a little over a yeah. week. And you took something that was Abby's passion and made it into an event that has spread over several communities. That's right. So tell yeah. us about the event coming up. So first let me just brag a little bit about the scholarship. We've okay. had tremendous support from mm -hmm. the town of Hopkinton and mm -hmm. local communities in our fundraising efforts. We've done a few events. We've had runners in the Boston Marathon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and I'll, I'll speak specifically about an event next week. But all that, that support has really come from the community in Hopkinton. Mm -hmm. And it's important to us to give back to that community. So we've, we've created two scholarships to Keep Smiling Award mm -hmm. at Hopkinton High School. Mm -hmm. uh, we started out with a very small $500 award uh, the first year of July in 2014 after Abby passed away. Mm -hmm. uh, and each year we've been able to raise that. And now it's up to a, a $2,500 scholarship wow. to two students in Hopkinton. That's this great. This is a, a faculty nominated award. So mm -hmm. students that have they bring a positive attitude, great chemistry to the school. Oh, okay. The faculty sort of looks at that as a class graduates ah. and, and nominates some names and they have sort of a vote. Yep. And uh, Evan Bishop facilitates that for us and we, mm -hmm. we just write the check. These are great kids uh. that have come through the system and are and it's really important for us to give back to the right. community. Very, very proud of that. But that uh, theme, you know, good good kids, positive attitude that's right. that's um, right. that evoke the spirit. That's and really our nice. ability to do that, mm -hmm. to raise that from a, for yeah. a, from a nominal scholarship to right. a $2,500 scholarship, it's really through our fundraising arm, and, and, or not arm, but yes. vehicle. Right. And, and to Darlene's point, we have a, a fundraiser on August 5th, next oh, Saturday. August 5th. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Abby I was will a, be there. You will? You, you will? <laughs> well, I'll, I'll, uh, I, I understand won't you're be. a field hockey player. You can play in the game. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. 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 She, she may even still have a stick. Who knows? She <laughs> played for Stanford. We'll have plenty of sticks. The format is a field hockey uh, alumni game. So what oh. we've done is we've, we've gone to the field hockey program. It was a tremendous emotional and... and um, launching pad for our foundation, emotional yes. support for our family, but also a, a base for our fundraising. And so what we've done is we've, we've created this event for alumni to come back. They play against the varsity team mm -hmm. from last year for the Keep Smiling Cup. Uh, before that, though, we have a, a community leaders game against the parents Phil of the Powers program. I think Phil Powers is in it, isn't he? Officer Powers <laughs> plays Scott Jurassic, chief oh, uh, firefighter. Oh, that's my uh, <laughs> If that's I'm right. going to, okay, the students and the alumni. No, that's like, a very I'm, serious game. Oh, I'm like toast to that one. Yeah. It's changed. The rules have changed. Yeah, it's a very oh, you quick play game. on Stanford. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. The rules have changed. It is turf now. Oh, they were using. Yeah. Well, you're, you're actually playing on the new. Stick. You're no. playing we're on playing the street field fields, fields yeah. this year. Yeah. So, uh, Previously, um, you played at Cornell's, right? We played. Ah. No, we played at the high school. We oh, played at the high school. school. Okay. They, they opened up the main field for us okay. and uh, lined it out for us and everything. And the schools have been great to let us use their space. Yeah. Um, so the community leaders versus the parents game precedes the alumni game, and and that's where firefighters play. The fire chief is going to play Chief Slayman. Um, uh, we've got parents of the program, little league leaders. Okay, I can, I can. And we play with an oversized with ball. Guys. Oh, oversized <coughs> ball. We play with an oversized oh, ball. That, yeah, that sounds it's fun. Oh, it's like how kids start tennis. That's right. That's right. That's right. If you can hit it, you go orange green ball. That's right. We so keep the event is you come to play and or to yeah. watch or yeah. or well, both, we can do or both either. We can do both. We do mm -hmm. these these two games, yeah. four teams, and the model is a player fundraiser model. Okay. So it's a lot like the Timlin race that has the runners raise money. Right. Our players raise money for us. We mm -hmm. ask for a. A $50 commitment. So mm -hmm. if you go to our website, uh, keepsmilingforabby.org, you can s see a link to our uh, our fundraising page. And yep. each of these community leaders have opened up a page, and you can pick one and and donate to one, uh, or two, or three, or four. <laughs> and, uh, and the other another big change this year is we we've had some some support from outside of the town. So we're going to do a, a tournament, a round robin tournament mm -hmm. on the turf fields. 
uh, at Fruit Street. Uh, oh, so, is, is that so where, the, where the Ashland and Halston and no. Hawkington are all playing right, each other? That's right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And I, I love it. it's like a tri valley kind of. Yeah, that's what we're going for, you know. It really feels it's a great. It's it's grown every year, uh, and you can come and watch. So we mm -hmm. have a very nominal five dollar entry fee. Mm -hmm. to come watch us. It helps us defray some of the costs yeah. of the event. Oh, we'll have a food nice. truck, an ice cream truck. Oh, fun. Dell's, uh, Dell's lemonade is going to come. So it's a, mm -hmm. it's a fun afternoon next Saturday, August fifth. Yeah. Uh, Dell's the best of Rhode Island. Yeah, it is. Well, we'll certainly it help is. get the word out about things. An impact, and, yeah. and I just, I, you know, it's a wonderful I thing. I applaud you for Thank your you. courage Thank and you. your strength. Well, we've had tremendous support. We didn't do it alone. We've had, we have an army of volunteers that have helped us from the beginning. When, when my family started this, uh, we, we made a commitment to each other that it wouldn't take over our lives. Yes. We would need help. Yes. And we've had help from people in this town. Lisa Nickerson's been a big supporter, helping yes. us get our social media presence right. She, yes. she drove a redesign of our website. Um, mm -hmm. We've yeah. got a very good board um, of directors. We've got I a mean. great board of uh, trustees that uh, mm -hmm. we're expanding this year to include uh, Kate Bronstein from Hopkinton oh, uh, mm -hmm. to bring in some social media presence. Mm -hmm. Randy McDonald will also be added. He's a, a, a president and CEO of TriStar Designs here yeah. in Hopkinton. Uh, um, I don't know, like Jean Birchman's been very proactive. Jean Birchman's on the school um, committee and she's helped us with you know, the corralling the volunteers. The, the, Tracy the, Murphy. That's right, right. All these people have been tremendous in helping wow. us and you really can't name them all. Right. It's been a, a tremendous um, team effort. That's, that's wonderful. That's great. That's great. Well, very and then you've, you've done other fundraisers. I know that you, at one point, were doing kind of a social family derby day, and that that's evolved into hopefully in the future to create a gala of some sort, mm -hmm. like a, right. almost a bigger event. That's right. We had a spring event going around in, in, in the first couple of years in the spring, and it seemed to step on college graduations and Mother's Day weekend. So. We're thinking about a, a different model where we do sort of more formal mm -hmm. gala in the winter, closer oh, to the uh, oh, start yeah. of the new year. Yeah. Um, the, a big one for us is the Boston Marathon. We oh, right. had sure. great yeah. support from the Board of Selectmen mm -hmm. and uh, the fire department to, to give us one of these invitational bibs. Mm -hmm. uh, we had four runners last year in the, in the uh, marathon. They raised over $25,000 <gasps> wow. for us. Wow. Uh, that's a tremendous platform for us. To now, are you able to oh. set like the minimum goals for the the runners or is that set? We haven't gone there yet, Darlene, because we <clears throat> we don't feel like we have the scale or leverage. You know, that, I think yeah. that's a draw for us. If you mm -hmm. want to if you want to run for us and we can get the bibs, uh, you go out and do your best and we'll take we'll, we'll take yeah. your support and we'll help you. Yeah. The, the big the big hospitals they'll put a five thousand dollar commitment yep, on right. somebody right. Yeah. and and they probably have that scale and leverage. Right. We don't feel like we have that right now and Less and, and our runners have been local and we want to we, well, we don't want to put that on somebody. Four runners to do twenty five thousand that's that's, that's amazing. That's, that's that's amazing. Tremendous. To fund this wonderful institution is doing such great work and research around Thank this. You this particular device. I want to segue a little bit, um, you, your son, we have talked about him, and I'd love for you to share a little bit more about your son, sure, his thank age, you. and Thank and you. So My son forth. David is a, a rising senior at UMass Amherst. Oh, uh, oh nice. He's, uh, he's majoring in psychology and uh, uh, a whole bunch of other things that add up to what he'll probably end up being a teaching career. Mm. Uh, Excellent. At least that's what he's thinking about. He'll be in Florence, Italy this uh, oh, fall. Nice. So oh, nice. studying nice. abroad. So you, uh, are you going to visit? We are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah, the question is, will we leave? <laughs> True. Um, so he's he a great may not kid. want you to stay That's as right. long as you want to stay. Right. But, uh, he's wonderful. a great kid. He's, uh, yeah. he's, helped. he's been a big help in the foundation. Of course. Uh, I mean, I always see him at the marathon, at the right. booth, and yeah. involved right. in mm -hmm. events. Will he be playing in the, in the game? He is. He he's playing on the community leaders team. He's actually been... Uh, accused of being a stalker at the goal, so he'll plant himself <laughs> at the goal and, and, and wait for the ball to come to drop it in. Uh, <laughs> Becky Abate is the, has been the goalie for the community leaders team the last couple of years, and, and she's had to box him out a few times. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, he's a great kid. Should they wear pennies and all that? Well, we're mm -hmm. doing pennies this year, darling. We've yeah. done in the past. We've given game T-shirts out to people, and mm -hmm. uh, we've we've sort of figured out that we're going to do this for a while. We should have pennies and mm -hmm. interchangeable. So we're. Doing I just remember that from high school and stuff like that. That. Yeah. I don't even think I've used that word since high school. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm just, not sure I know what you've been talking about. Oh, it's like a pullover. It's like, like a an oh. pullover. It's just, oh, just for like games. Like a tank for the, top. Well, it's a tank top. And it has colors. Combat. One side might yeah. be white, the other side red, or green, just quick orange, pick up games. you know, right. yeah. or purple. Colors, whatever. Or, or purple. purple. There you go. Yeah. So were these, were these Abby's favorite colors? <laughs> pretty. Uh, purple yeah. and green. She had her bedroom was like a, she had an accent wall. I think they call it for green. Yeah. Bedroom as a kid growing up. <laughs> it's a girl thing. It no, is. A lot of girls. That was girl. my big color. <laughs> and green just was the accent yeah. color. Oh, that's so funny. So I'm, I'm nice. a visual person. I'm curious about the um, the logo. Mm. The logo sprang from uh, it's sort of a, I guess, I don't know, maybe organically. Mm -hmm. uh, in, in the period that Abby was in the hospital, um, the high school community, the, the kids in the school, um, 
were affected by it, of course, but they, they seemed to, the, the high school athletes, we saw some images of some kids with like a, a Sharpie marker on their shoulder or their wrist mm -hmm. that, of this sisterhood symbol. It was a lot of the young women, mm -hmm. the, the high school athletes had engraved, and I engraved, not engraved, yeah, but yeah, yeah, right, their, right. Marker, they marked this, yeah. this loopy Sharpie, thing, yeah. and, mm -hmm. and they called it a sisterhood symbol. And sort of ah. that sprang from when Abby was in the hospital when she first went down, we saw a bunch of kids doing this. I've got some pictures. I can see the pictures of the kids with it on their shoulder and on their on their wrists and mm -hmm. stuff. So we sort of took that as sort of a connection point to the catalyst wow. event. Right. Um, right. You know, Abby with the keep smiling, always smile on the, mm -hmm. the catalyst event, uh, although tragic, sort of helped us get to this point and sort of want to connect to that, don't we? Yeah. Now That's I know beautiful. the um, the bracelet like you're wearing, and I I've, I I'm have sure. one at home mm -hmm. that I've worn. Um, those have ended up all over the world. I had yeah. one that I had Billie Jean yeah. King hold at the yeah. U.S. Open That's that right. I sent you guys yeah. on, on an opening night, but I've seen them from pictures in Italy and China Whoa. on the Great yeah. Wall. I'm assuming there'll be a picture in Florence. Yeah, wow. there will be, I'm sure. Yeah, we, we, our first, <laughs> our, when we first started, uh, we, uh, one of the kids that uh, was on Abby's teammate, Stephanie Puig, here in town, mm -hmm. and she, she, mm. one of her um, sort of like concert her idea to do something, let's raise a little bit of money here. She went out right away and got some bracelets and sold them in the high school. Um, and and uh, that went very well, and the kids started taking pictures of them again, virally, or organically, I right, guess, right. Uh, and and sharing those pictures. So we said this is kind of neat to do a smile around the world. Mm -hmm. So we did a couple of those promotions where we invited people to mm -hmm. take these bracelets and take a picture. Yeah. My favorite is the statue of David in Florence. Oh. So one of the kids held it strategically in this in, in the uh, at the statue and they're all over the world though some celebrities have been photographed we had steve yeah. carell one of the kids in town oh. has a sort of a second steve or third carell, level yeah. relationship yeah. with steve carell he's mm -hmm. holding one up at christmas in front of his tree so yeah. we've had a really great uptake on that really okay. positive right. and they still come in we still get them yeah. and see them on social media and the um it reminds me there's a, a restaurant in the north shore called women's out of essex and they do bumper stickers and um they want to see them all over the world. Yeah. So when I started seeing that, I was like, you know, that's when I like grabbed it and like, like let's bring it to the U.S. Open and mm -hmm. stuff. And then since then, I've seen a couple other from the U.S. Open and places pop up. But it's, yeah. I think the one was at the World Series when, um, and you did um, when everywhere. they were at Fenway, yeah. and then they've been a bunch at Fenway. Yeah, a lot of kids oh, take cool. them to Fenway and the baseball stadiums, Patriots games, and yeah, uh, yeah they're everywhere. Yeah. Well, you were saying even on the video, Martha's video, you've been, you, your wife and family have been able to yeah. generate interest. I mean, yeah. this issue, um, anaphylaxis, is everywhere, right? I mean, well, so you, if you people can get five can minutes of time with people and describe, mm -hmm. if you can get over the hurdle of anaphylaxis, that's sort of a Latin term, medical, I call mm -hmm. it medical term. Mm -hmm. um, if you can get through that and just talk about allergic reaction yes. and describe what we're trying to do, trying to create an early detection system uh, or process for yes. for uh, for this. There's 15 million people at risk, and, and most medical problems are solved with early detection. Think cancer. Yes. Early yes. detection of cancer is the quickest way to treat it, right? Well, mm -hmm. and, and I have to candidly admit, I was unaware. I always thought of it as, oh, it's closing of the airway. Right. And so it's a breathing issue. And it's really not. No. It, it, it That's one of the symptoms. It's yeah. one of the symptoms, yeah. and you try to unblock the airways, but that cannot be, that might not be what causes the death in an individual. It can be, it's the other well, things. It's typically cardiac or respiratory arrest. What yeah, happens right. is, think mm. about it as, as your body shutting down, it's fighting exactly. itself. Exactly. Yeah. And, and, and so and the cardiac arrest was what was shocking right. to me yeah. because I thought, oh, well, you've got a breathing. What's the problem? Yeah. Yeah. Right. It's the other cardiac thing. Arrest. Well, there's 17 symptoms or so. One, some of them are qualitative, but most of them are measurable. There's skin temperature and tone changing, uh, respiratory failure. Uh, t histamines will explode in your system. Every mm -hmm. cell will release tryptase. So mm. all these things are happening. And our view is, if you can measure those things and alert the patient sooner, mm -hmm. and there is only one treatment for anaphylaxis. It, it's epinephrine. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. and what, mm -hmm. what people will do is take a Benadryl and wait, and that's the worst thing that's to do. If I were to say long. anything on the awareness front, okay. if, when in doubt, take your epinephrine and, and then call for help. And you're not yeah. calling for help because epi is a bad or dangerous drug. Mm -hmm. You're calling for help because epi will wear off. Epinephrine right. will wear yeah. off. And you need, and you need help. You'll need the fire department there to help you. Yeah. Mm. No, no, I, I, no. Um, and to get back to this event on a week from tomorrow, um, <laughs> there's information on your website, which is keepsmilingforabby.org. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you've actually added a component this year. Um, when you mentioned the vineyard, there's also a prize for the, it, it's, That's right. it's a, yeah. a spinning we've, we've, thing. My wife had, had came up with this concept of, a, of a, almost a Wheel of Fortune uh, game. A spin, we're calling it Spin to Win. <laughs> uh, at our event a couple of sp last spring, we bought a wheel, an oversized wheel about the size of this table. It stands mm -hmm. up, you spin it, it sounds like the 
It's got 12 slots on it. And, and so my wife Amy went around to Martha's Vineyard and other mm -hmm. places and, and sort of gathered up small donations into a Martha's Vineyard getaway. It's a big one. It's yeah. a huge so one. It's I looked a at it. It's mean, uh, a three, two night, two, three day overnight at the Summer Camp Hotel in yeah. Oak Bluffs. Right. Uh, mm. But all, it has all, restaurant gifts, certificates, right. all Nancy's and biscuits. Oh, you know, all the spots. I was like, yeah. whoa. It's a great prize. And for 70, I think it's a $50 chance. You get yeah. one in 12 chance to. to and, uh, to win, and you can buy the tickets online for these. And right. We had and a do senior, you virtually spin lot. the wheel online or something? Uh, Is that how it works? Spin, oh, no, yeah, you I pick mean, your spot. Pick we'll we'll spot, write I you think. in at the, at yeah. the event. We'll write mm -hmm. in. Uh, but one of the big ones was a senior lot parking pass. So oh, 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 yeah. That yeah. gets real. Yeah. <laughs> That's sold out, by the way. Officer <laughs> Powers gave us a very generous donation for a senior lot parking pass. We put that up there this week, and it went. It went in, in hours. Wow. Well, yeah, wow. It's, it's kind of funny. Do like, you remember when the PTA? Um, uh, galas years ago yeah. and we'd walk around to the silent auctions it would be parking passes and bus passes and that's things right. you because it's things you're going to buy anyhow that's right, right. and if right. you're going to give the money to charity do yeah. it and yeah. for a $50 chance you might yeah. win something for 50 that would yeah. get, give you an automatic so I think they're a little bit of lottery because, money because they're <laughs> been out of senior lot parking spots yeah. since March yeah. Mm. Yeah. because my daughter didn't get her license until I'm you know, like April. I'm actually surprised mm -hmm. that they don't do like right now a lottery for them and do it lottery wise but whatever. You know? oh, but yeah. anyway, yeah. but so it's, this, a, it's a great the spin to win thing. Yep, that's is, that's, it, that's it's, part of next weekend's. It is. You can buy the tickets for that online if you want okay. to take a look at our, our, our website will direct you to where to go get those. Mm -hmm. And there's an events tab and that's right. stuff out. So yeah. um, there is a, an alumni versus current students game. That's right. There is community leaders versus parents. Yes. Um, as viewers, spectators, is there a fee to, or just asking for a contribution? We'll ask for a $5 ticket fee to get Got in. It. Uh, Got we'll it. We'll have live music. Jonathan Other Katz, who's a, there's Jonathan Katz, uh, who's a student at Hoffman oh, High School, yeah. will play, uh, his band will play there. And, We'll have a raffle and, and uh, there were, like I said, food trucks. and That's the band so that actually yeah. reopens for um, like hot acoustics and stuff at the 300th and, 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 yeah. and, and, and for family day too. Okay. So, so, so we, yeah, yeah. So there's a lot going on and we're so excited and thrilled to have you on. Thank you, Thank you so it. much for, for coming out this morning and we look forward to uh, sharing more information about Keep Smiling for Abby and the uh -huh. event. We'll get it posted up on the Facebook page. We'll send it out in an e-newsletter too so Thank that people you. know. Yeah. And we're always... The Real Housewives of Hopping are very proud to support this event. Thank, Thank you. We, we are appreciate indeed. your support. Yeah, we are indeed. Yeah. Well, it's and if somebody, if you can't, if you want to come and help, yes. we can. We have an open. We have openings for volunteers. If cool. if somebody wants to come and help us set up or mm -hmm. tear it down, we can. Yes. We have a lot of ways to help the foundation. We'll, we'll, absolutely. we'll get the links out. We'll get Thank the you. word out. Thank you. Thanks Thank so, you much. so much. Thanks okay, well, for thank being you. here. Cheers, Thanks. and thanks for being with us.